What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're breaking down more film. Today, we're going to be looking at a defensive player out of Connecticut, looking at Travis Jones. Before we go over the film, Precursor, this is this film's from 2019. It's hard to find Connecticut film, but we got what we could. But overall, this player, Travis Jones, 6'4", 325, 34 and one fourth arms, 10 and one fourth hands. He's got the size, put it that way. He's got all the above of those attributes. Senior, 4'9", 2", so he's got athleticism as well. Not quick twitch, 6'4", 325, and he's playing the nose. So if you're looking at it from a Bucks perspective, nose tackle, this big man in the middle. Defensively, 4'3", he's not going to be a three-tech, but he can do a lot in any defense, put it that way. But you're going to look at him over the nose, number 57. Plus, originally, what do you expect and like from Travis Jones? Well, I mean, there's a lot to like. I mean, obviously, you know, he's a big guy. Like you said, the, the strength is obvious. So he can play in a 3-4, four, 4-3 four, scheme. So he's versatile. But he's just got a lot of uh, a lot of power to his game and a lot of things you can obviously coach up. But he's got a lot of strengths to begin with. And obviously here in the pass rush game, you know, just fighting through that block very easily, shutting him off, getting upfield, and creating a sack there. So there's a lot to base off of. I mean, here – going one-on-one -on -one against, uh, you know, the guard and just find ways to get interior pressure. And I think that's very critical for teams. Um, you know, defensively, you want that interior pressure, and that's something he can provide. And one thing you notice, Connecticut doesn't face the best of competition. So usually he's block shedding pretty fast. He's extending his arms. He's getting what he, what he wants to have happen pretty easily. But it's how consistent is it? And you see a lot of that, like, lower base, the squatty nature, powerful arms, powerful attributes, all that is on display at all times. But he does show at times like hand battling power, enough to drive, not just power, but actually putting things together. And this is very early on. This is 2019, like I mentioned earlier. So he only got better as the years went on. But what do you like with this one, him pushing up the field? Well, here, uh, this is a great example of him, what he can do consistently, like you said. I know it's lower competition and Let's be honest, he was the best player on this team, and it was a very bad team at that. And um, and like you said, he just continued to get better and better. But this is something that he can do quite often, which is push the pocket and be a force in the middle of your defense. And I think that's something that's very attractive to teams. You know, here, fighting up with the hand use as a swim over. And if this was 2021, he probably gets over this very fat, like quicker. And obviously he's shown that on tape as well. But here it's just good uh, initial burst and, and winning at the point of attack. Yeah, I like the initial lateral quickness. I mean, for a guy 325, 6'4", to get out of the way of this guard, let him go over, swim over, execute that nicely, and then pop up field. I mean, he's getting dragged here even by his jersey, no holding call. Refs are always blind on these things, but this is a different <laughs> angle we get. I mean, that's things you want to see. like Pass rush moves executed, not just being a big brute, and because that doesn't necessarily always carry over. And then this is where he's going to benefit for the whole 11 working as one. He's occupying people. I mean, look at him take on these two guys. Look at the alleyway of this guy, free runner, coming at you. So if you're looking at that as a Buccaneer fan, Devin White, Levante David getting free alleys like Vita Vea does. And that's bringing me to my point. He can be interchangeable with Vita Vea. Do you want a true pass rusher or do you want a guy that can help your pass rushers based off of just occupying space? So there's a lot of good things to like with Travis Jones, what do you like here? Absolutely. And and like you said, his ability to occupy space, take up double teams, that's going to be attractive to a lot of teams, not just the Bucks, but, you know, around the league and his ability to push the pocket. And really that's what it's about when you're talking about creating pressure. It's, it's collapsing that pocket, allowing your speed rushers to get around the outside. And, you know, again, here, just working his way up field. And again, nice initial win off the snap, good burst be able to you know fight through and get some pressure there on the quarterback yeah and it's not just speed they're gonna be immediately push 75 back I mean, he's already further back than just about everyone else on the line he's back here so he's doing his job getting the inside pressure making the job harder on the quarterback to release this ball so i don't know what the receiver is doing here but yeah the quarterback's <laughs> feeling the pressure coming up right in front of his face here he gets kind of blocked out of the play here i mean maybe playing a little too high because low man wins in this game so what do you like with that one? Or what do you see with this one? 
Well, again, it, I, I like the attempt, and this is something he probably finishes a lot better in 2021. Obviously, the development has taken place. Again, this is 2019 tape, but still, you got to like the effort. You got to like the movement. But like you said, low man wins, and he just uh, maybe gets a little too high there. Again, at 6'4", that's going to happen time to time. But now we get into the bread and butter of what he can really provide, and our, obviously a strength of his, and that's the run defense be able to take on blockers, take on double teams, not be moved, and then make tackles. Uh, it's very impressive just watching him shed guys and and really be a force in the run game. Yeah, just look at him work. I mean, like you just said, he's anchoring down. Look at those feet anchoring the ground. Low man's winning, staying low, occup- or absorbing this block coming in. Doesn't even phase him. Disengages and gets after the play. That's effort. That's work. That's He's going to help out everyone behind him with that. The fact that he's occupying two guys like this, and then keep working. Look at all these absorbing of hits, blocks. I mean, and this is all him. Two guys right there, not going nowhere. Look at that foot grab the ground and not be moved anywhere near off his top, off his spot, and then finds a ball carrier. Your mind. I mean, a lot of good things in the running game. Absolutely, and I can't agree with you more. I mean, it's just, it's really fun to watch him just you know, take on blockers, show that strength of his and really hold the fort down. I mean, that is, I mean, you can't teach it better than that. And his ability to, I think his best ability is keeping his head up. Like he always knows where the football is, which is very important. You don't see a lot of young defensive linemen always have that trait as we've gone through our film studies, but here he really does have it, you know, holding people up and then finding that football. It's uh, it's super impressive. Yeah. Like you were saying, looking, look at his eyes. Oh, he's not over there. He's got to be over here somewhere. So what does he do? Okay, let me move my head over. Oh, found the ball. Makes eye contact. There's a ball carrier. Now let's get after it. Dis- look how quickly he disengages. 75 trying to hold him up. Quickly get my hands off. Rip away. I'm already after the ball carrier. Like that's that's a good trait. That's, that's a trait that's going to carry over big time. Keep going on. The running game, yes. Chalks, checks every box in the running game. I'll let you proceed with that one. Yeah, again, it's just that initial burst, and, you know, they try to double him. They try to triple team him at times. It, it, it's not going to work. I mean, his ability to, to split that and really, again, doesn't make the tackle, but he gets in on the play and slows the running back down. Very, very nice. Um, again, here, taking on a double team. They try to, you know, help with the tight end. It's it's not going to work. Or is that an extra offense lineman? I don't know. But pushes the guy back. Um, doesn't again, not making the play, but he's allowing space for others to get in there. Allows 48 to get in and make the tackle. So not only is he going to be an impact, but he's going to help your team out defensively. So individually or team, he's going to find a way to make some type of impact. And it's really nice to see. Yeah. And like you were just saying in that last play, the guy can't hit the outside because there's nowhere to go. He's occupying two guys plus himself, 325 pounds of himself. But here like, it's kind of getting repetitive with the double man right here anchoring down with the one foot and kicking back inside where the ball carrier is going. He's he's waiting. As a defender, he's waiting for the running back to make a call or make the cut. Once he sees it, disengage, get after it. Like, I know the Bucks defense is made to stop the run. He's almost like a carbon copy of what we like in our defensive tackle. But do we need more edge rushers? Do we need more pass rush? There's ways you can manufacture it with guys like this clogging the holes. But, I mean, what does your team need? Do they need a run stuffer? This is your go-to guy. Do you need a guy who can give a little bit of pressure up the middle? This is your guy as well. Do you need an elite pass rusher? This isn't him. But how much more can he develop throughout the, his time in the league? We're going to find out. But, I mean, a lot of good things with him I like a lot. Where is his draft ranking? I don't necessarily know. He could be a first-round fringe or a second-round player early. I don't see him going any lower than that because of all the stuff he can bring. But what do you like with this one? Huge play on this. Yeah, again, and I agree with what you're you're saying there. Again, usually you like to have, you know, a pass rush ready prospect and maybe teach them how to stop the run. But you're seeing more and more guys like this that can make an impact because they're so strong and so powerful, taking on blockers, and they can find ways to make your team better because they can first stop the run. So you're going to make the team one-dimensional. And then he can still provide some type of pass rush or at least help the team be better in that department because of the bodies that he's taken with him. Again, you see him here taking on blockers so he can allow his teammates to come in and and make the play. So it's just a lot of good things from Travis Jones. Um, Again, here, 
they do a little uh, draw play, but again, that's still a nice move there as he's trying to get after the quarterback, a nice little swim over hesitation, trying to get by 65. So the potential is there. And obviously I think he's grown a lot as a player uh, going forward, you know, it's 2021 now. So, or 2022 now. Mm -hmm. Um, But with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think Travis Jones is going to be a a, a very interesting prospect at the next level. I think he'll find success early, um, especially as a a run stopper. But let us know what you guys think. Uh, Give us comments. uh, Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, where where do you think Travis Jones is going to end up? And with that said, until the next one.